everyone welcome back to another day with the davises we received some perfume scents from the company dozier they're a super affordable brand of high quality perfume scents for men and women it says iconic scents designer quality no markups dozier reproduces classic high-end smelling perfumes at a really good price. If you take a look at how expensive shopping for cologne and perfume can be, you'll know that Dossier is where it's at. And when you shop at Dossier, you'll find the same quality products for a much better price. The one I got is called Aromatic Pineapple. It's inspired by YSL. The bottles are pretty big for the price and they come completely full. You know how like some brands will sell you things and it's like half of what the bottle really is. A tiny really bottle is. with just a little bit. Well, no. this fills it to the brim right there. Yes. And that's what you want in perfume because you want to smell good all the time. You don't want to run out. And if you aren't familiar with like the different scents on their website, they have like a whole detailed note of what different scents they put into it to incorporate the overall scent. So yeah. as you can see, it's also on the bottle but you'll also see it on their website. Their website had tons and tons of reviews under each one and they tell you which ones are like the most popular scents. And almost all of the reviews said that the scent smelled really similar to the inspired scents. And they don't care if it's been opened and you've tried it, the important part is that you like it. So send it back, try a different scent, and see which one appeals to you. Good. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, that smells good. I really like it. I really like it. So if you like like floral, feminine scents, I would recommend trying their Gourmand White Flowers. And I'm pretty sure this was one of the popular scents on their website. I smell it. Oh wow! No, that smells. Oh, that smells good. good. I thought it was gonna have like an extra fruity smell but this actually smells really good it smells Honestly, like legit cologne <laughs> it has that rich like men's cologne scent yeah that's i don't even know exactly how to explain smell the fruit it in there but it smells really good i don't know it smells really good yeah like, it smells you know it's a guy's cologne end. and it smells really good it's there it has a presence and that it's strong a, a nice aromatic presence dojir has a new payment method on their website to help you get a little bit of perks it's called Catch, so all you have to do is at checkout, click Catch. And from there, you'll earn yourself $10 bonus credits. So Ooh. make sure you do that. And imagine, they're already so affordable. So if you're getting $10 credit, you can get yourself some more cents in no time. If you guys want to try these out for yourself, like I said, we'll have a discount code down below. We'll have the link to shop their website. Just know that. We're we recommending these because we actually like them, genuinely. We got and, it, we like it. And we're gonna be using this more often, so. <laughs> it's affordable, nice quality cologne and perfume. So. And you get yourself some new scents to try out. It's a win all the way around. It's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, let's get into today's video. We asked you guys to ask us some questions about the pregnancy and today we're going to get to them along with updating you guys just on some like random things that we've been experiencing so far with this fourth pregnancy and how it's affecting us. Third pregnancy. Third pregnancy. Fourth baby. Fourth baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well first of all, let me just start with pregnancy brain. I didn't think it was a thing until this pregnancy. I swear I forget everything. Literally even my due date. I ask him what my due date is all like the time. Like every week. It's like, all what's the my time. due date again? <laughs> it is July 30th. 2022, so it's coming up. Right. We're getting closer and closer. <laughs> it's real it's close. Still <laughs> I still forget. We haven't even really done any shopping for the new baby yet. We've gotten a couple things, but at the same time, we also have a lot of stuff. Because if you didn't know, we just had twins, a boy and a girl. We just had twins that just reached a year, so. Yeah! One of them being a girl, so we still have girl clothes, so we yes. haven't felt the need to go into the store and just buy a bunch of girl clothes, because no. we still have a lot of girl clothes. We have a lot, so it just kind of feels a little pointless going overboard with buying stuff, because we still have chairs, we still have hydras, we just have all these different we have things, <laughs> and so 
we have very few things that we actually need to get, but there's still some things that we will get. Of course, of course. But you know, you guys will see that in a future video. Continuing on since I started with a symptom. Some symptoms I was feeling, especially during the first trimester, this is me. Every single pregnancy, I am super sick. So sick. Super sick. So sick. It was terrible. It was affecting my work ethic and just everything. I was feeling terrible. I could only eat soup. And that was like for the whole first trimester. Same situation with Era. I just cannot eat really. In the morning time and in the night time was the worst. All the way around. Like, yeah. I just was always feeling sick. After the first trimester, that subsided and now I'm able to eat, eat, eat and cook again. Oh, we eat good. <laughs> I couldn't cook while I was sick, but now that I'm not sick anymore, oh, I cook, cook, cook. And it's nice to have my eating buddy back, you know? Yes. You can't do it alone, you know? You can't do it yeah, alone. Yeah, <laughs> like, if family dinners weren't the same when I can't eat too, yeah. so. I'd be eating. And then you'd run out into the bathroom and throw up and then not finish your food. Now that I can eat, I eat a lot of different stuff. I've been trying to be healthier with this pregnancy than I was in the last pregnancies, which I think I have been doing you have, pretty you good. Have. You've been doing a lot I've been better. doing like more of the healthy snacks, cooking meals, all of that. So that's been really helpful. I feel like this baby is getting big, so I know I'm eating good. <laughs> what is something that this baby makes you crave more than? like the other pregnancies is it the same stuff oh is it cravings stuff? i i kind of have this craving i think every pregnancy but it's just like i feel like like my go-to is my breakfast food i have to have eggs and bacon every single pregnancy yeah it could be eggs and bacon with hash browns eggs and bacon with rice it doesn't matter i can keep it all down i just need to have the eggs and bacon in there when i don't have it breakfast doesn't feel the same besides that I don't feel like I really have too heavy of cravings. Like I want my standard snacks throughout the day, like crackers, yeah. granola bars, stuff like that. But nothing as outrageous as mm -hmm. my breakfast food. I have to have that every single morning. Which That's pregnancy affected you the most uh, craving wise? Um, Your first, second, or third? <laughs> I think the twins, and I think it was because those two of them they made my appetite like crazy. Yeah, and so I, I was agree. always hungry, always drinking something, eating something, like, yeah. I think the twins, for sure. Your sweet tooth even came out on that pregnancy. Yeah, that's something that's different with this one. I don't have a sweet tooth at all, really. Like, I could care less for cookies, candy, all that stuff. Very rarely will I crave something like that. Okay, let's get into the questions, because honestly, Besides the beginning of my pregnancy where I had a little bit of gestational bleeding, which is just kind of like an internal bleed that doesn't affect the baby, that went away. And so I was on pelvic rest for like my whole first trimester, really like first trimester and a half. And then it finally went away. So they were able to say like, okay, you're back to normal. Exercise, do whatever you want to do. That was like the most I had to sit down this pregnancy. Now I kind of try to incorporate like walking during my lunch breaks yeah. and stuff like that. Just so I'm not sitting so much. It felt like they threw you on bed rest for like- I was. <laughs> like you were on there for a yes, long time. Yes, I was on it for a long time. So yeah. besides that though, that was like the only complication we really had this whole mm -hmm. pregnancy. So my pregnancy appointments have just been so quick. They check her heartbeat, move on, and- In and out. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So I just get that same check once a month, and every single time they said she's doing good. good. Yep. When we had our ultrasound appointment, everything was good. We told you that in the gender reveal if you watched it, if you didn't go watch it. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yeah, so she's doing great. You know we're committed when we have a Zoom class in a couple minutes and we're over here filming this video for you guys. Yes. So, <laughs> so make sure you comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell because we're doing this for you guys. We're doing it for you. How are you dealing with the pregnancy mentally? So I would say good. I really haven't been having like no meltdowns and stuff. It was more so like overwhelming in the very beginning. And she was still processing it. Yeah, when I was trying to process it. But now everything's just going so smooth. I'm happy a lot. I think it's going well. Me too. We're more at ease with it. Too. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And way more accepting of a fourth baby coming into the family. And it being a girl. <laughs> at first it was hard to process that. Ah. I didn't get a, a second boy to even the, you know, even the pack, but I'm, at this point I'm, I've accepted it and I'm happy, and, you know, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, definitely. The next question is, what are some things you feel like y'all need to do before the baby? Definitely like make more space 
to accommodate yeah. the fourth so, baby up in here. Because just know that we're working behind the scenes, trying to get stuff in place for the baby and our family. So we'll update you guys on that soon. Any word symptoms? I kind of spoke about that already. Not really, honestly. I don't feel like I really had too many symptoms this pregnancy. This pregnancy, I feel like I felt the most like myself while pregnant. Like, don't feel too like heavy and I don't feel overly tired. I do get tired, but like I don't feel overly tired and stuff. So I feel like yeah. I haven't really had that many symptoms this pregnancy in comparison to the other two. Do you have a preference in baby Davis's gender? So this was asked before we knew the gender and the preference was boy just because we already have two girls and so one boy. Two boys. So we just wanted to even it out. Even it out. But I personally, if you guys watched the gender reveal, you know, I didn't she really cared care. Less. <laughs> I didn't really care. I cared a lot more because I, I grew up with brothers and so mm -hmm. I know how it feels to have a brother and especially that close in age, I, I wanted Ariane to have that. But, you know, it's, yeah. it's fine. He'll have three sisters to play with and, you know, yeah. and all that. And just being surrounded by women will make him a gentleman, you know, and make him respect women and respect their opinions. And you know. Yeah. And it kind of worked out because we, like, just recently got a nephew added to the family. And so we were kind of giving away a lot of Ariane stuff. And so it's kind of nice that we're having another girl because we had a bunch of girl stuff left over. So it works out. Okay guys, so this is the last question. There wasn't too many. Are you doing anything different in this pregnancy than with Era and the twins? Um, with this pregnancy, out. yeah, I'm working out. I'm actually trying to stay active. Not too active. I don't overexert yeah, myself. I just enough. do enough each day to feel like I'm actively moving. Yeah, to stay moving and on our feet. Especially since my job now is sitting at a desk for a lot of hours in a day. I feel like it's good to just let that blood let flow yeah. and keep moving so I don't have too hard of a time during my labor. That's the biggest thing that I've been doing differently and then eating better. Besides that, I've kind of just been doing the same thing that I normally do. Chill out, make sure my mood's good and all that up until baby comes. Yeah. That's it for this video. You know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become a part of the Davis clan. Hit the bell so you'll be notified every, every time, time I make a new video, video on, on this channel. channel. You did it! <laughs> I thought I was going to stumble too because I never say it. He's getting better, guys. He's getting, getting better. better. Right, we're getting better, guys. We'll Thank you guys, you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next, next video. video. Till next, next time. time. We got to get in class. Let's get the class. Like, these guys over here waiting for us. <laughs> you know, they might be talking about something important we don't know, so we got to go. <laughs> Bye.